now since we can choose any image and then we can upload that image so let's try to upload that image into the storage of our Laravel and we have this component so component.php for the live wire and here we have the add method so once we have the image which is a base64 format that is actually inside our image variable so first what we need to do we need to upload it so what I will do I will create a function and I will name that function store image and this function is going to be similar and very simple and because first we need to check if there is an image then only we are going to upload so if there is no image inside our image so that should be dollar inside our image variable if no image is there then just return null okay so what we are doing with we are returning null if there is no image so we need to grab that image which is a null and then we need to fill that uh, image part with a null but remember in our comments migration we don't have the image column let's create that also and I will say a string image but this should be nullable so that's why it is nullable because we have made changes in migration let's run the migration or specifically run the PHP Addison migrate fresh so that it will clear up everything and create a new database fresh empty and now we also have an image field here now whenever we are checking that if there is no image then make that image null and that is coming from here okay so let's give a comma and it's returning null okay so I don't have any image so I will say without image and let's hit add and we have problem it says name of non object inside the blade hmm so because we have cleared the database so that's why we don't have the user and quickly I can give the name of the user so it doesn't matter whatever the password we are not authenticating and once again let's try and I can delete this one and let's try without image add and yeah it's added and no image because there is no image but when we have the image then we need to store it using the storage facade so storage and then we need to say put and what name we are going to give I will say image dot jpg and the image will be this arrow image but this is a base 64 image it is not going to save by using this so I have also installed interventional library and using this interventional library now it's become super easy I just need to say image manager static this one you need to use image manager static then I'm going to make from this image and then encode it into jpg format and that's it and if you are not getting this here is the documentation for intervention library and here we have image they have given the, uh, the alias for this image manager static then make the image you are giving and then encoding where whatever you want to encode that's good and then because we have this image now we can store this image like this and let's great that's great so let's refresh once again choose an image any image let's choose this one and with image add and now it seems like it is added and we need to clear this image also so let's first clear the image once we have the we have stored the data then we need to say image is null but because this time it was not it, the image was not null so we should expect storage app and here we can see we have this image.jpg very nice 
but this should be inside the public so what we can do I can just delete this and we can just define a storage and the disk and then I can say disk is actually public so then it will go inside this public disk that's good but not every time we want to make the image name as image.jpg so I can create a random name and I will use str and use random then concatenating with the extension of jpg here we have just encoded not giving the extension but now we are giving a name with the extension we need to uh, use this str str like here and then once again we are good to go then we can name this as the name and then return the name okay so see when we don't have the image we are returning the null if we have the image then we will encode it create a random name store inside the public directory and returning that name and here because when we have the image we get the name inside the image and the image field is filled with the proper name okay let's try once more so public directory is empty once more try choose a file and once again click on add image is cleared it is added here and we should expect an image which is inside public directory that's very very cool and you can see the name encoded form of name dot jpg very nice let's go into the database on this comments you can see now we have this image field filled with the image we can simply now show that image along with the comment how we can show we can say comment dot blade dot php and just after the body of the comment first I can check if comment has image then I can have a image tag inside that source is going to be comment image and then end if that's great let's now try but image is not loaded let's open a new tab and the path is directly here but actual path is inside storage public so what we can do we can provide and firstly we need to link the storage directory so we can say php artisan storage link what it has created it has created a sim link in our public directory storage and that is actually pointing to the public directory of this storage app public directory so now we can see when we say public storage and we have the image so just one thing we need to do we need to actually concatenate here with storage slash the image name let's try once more and yeah we have this image very nice but you know every time you prefix this thing it's not good so I'm going to create an accessor on comment so let's create an accessor and I call this accessor get uh, it's not accessor actually <laughs> it's creating a, a field which I'm going to append so get image path attribute attribute and then I'm just going to return the storage then disk is public and then create a URL for this image by using this it is actually going to create the storage slash image and then whenever we change our disk it will going to have that so we need to remove that and if you are wondering how I get that you need to go to the Laravel documentation storage part file storage and here you can see storage URL is there and because we are storing in disk public we are specifying disk public so we can simply use instead of concatenating we can simply say image path and now once again refresh and it's not there let's try 
So it's not there because you can see it's localhost. But the real is localhost 8000. That is because on our .env file we have this localhost. So make it localhost 8000. Save this. Restart the server. And now it's surely going to work. Wow, it's working. But what if I click on delete? I need to delete this image also. Let's delete that image. So we have this remove part and we can simply say storage go to the disk of public and then delete a image which is comment image so if there is an image it will delete it otherwise if there is no image how can it delete so let's refresh and try to delete comment is deleted let's try on our storage and you can see that is gone there is nothing inside the public directory even if you go here public directory is empty so in that way you can add any image with the use of laravel livewire and obviously laravel